Hi everyone, I'm going to be making another El Ruderai uh, cultured yogurt recipe. This time, instead of using my previous batch in back slopping or using the, the previous separated batch, which gives me a good result, as you can see, I've been, my first batch separated, so I froze it in ice cube trays, and I've, I've been just using whole milk and making um, just a nice, nice yogurt um, by following the basic timing and temperature. Um, so what I usually do is I only have these two dishes, so I, I'm making this about once a week, once every, yeah, so I have to end up, like I'm almost, this is my last, last bit, so I'm going to refrigerate this, I'm going to clean my, and sanitize with boiling water, my dishes, and I'm going to be using a package of the, uh, the culture here, a fresh bag, that way I know it hasn't been, um, you know, it's as fresh as possible. So I'm going to use one quart of milk, your fresh milk from that quart into a bowl. You only need about this much, uh, you know, like a quarter cup, uh, which you're going to be adding. Now, I sanitize the spoon. Do I need the spoon anymore? Yeah, I guess I can keep it to mix my, my potato starch in. Uh, slurry is about one heaping tablespoon. In other words, uh, two tablespoons. It. Mix it around in your milk, your cold milk. Uh -huh. This is supposed to be the uh, food for your uh, yogurt as it's uh, as it's uh, fermenting. So now I really don't need the spoon anymore. I can get rid of it, and we'll just. Mix in our starch with our warm milk. Right now it's at 120 and climbing. And I'll just mix this every so often until I get to 185, like I said, and then I'll turn it really low. And then we'll hold it there for 20 and then cool it down. So now I'm gonna cool it off. It's not complicated. I believe in cooling it off as quickly as possible because um, well, that's just how I feel. Um, and, okay, so we're gonna put some cold water and I'll do this cold water um, two, two times because it, as soon as I put in the, the warm uh, bowl of, 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 um, of, of milk, it's gonna, it's gonna warm up the water. So if I do it in two shots, it cools off in about, I don't know, 10 minutes so you just put it it's better actually if it kind of sits on the cold water so you want to fill up your pot you after doing this a few times you'll see you know you want to see a bit of the water kind of come out of your bowl so now you know it's actually sitting on the cold water now we're at 100 fahrenheit spot on uh and now it's time to mix the uh, warm milk into your two containers uh so we're gonna I haven't used this in, a, in, in over a month now. I started with one, uh, and like I said, it, I had the, the first batch um, issue of it separating. So I mixed it really well with a whisk and I put it in two ice cube trays, uh, and I've been using that for my, uh, for the, my last uh, bunch of batches. Uh, no, just mix it. So we wanna get that bacteria evenly dispersed through your liquid. Uh-huh. I strongly suggest checking your water temperature um, if you haven't uh, already. I've done that and I know it's, uh, it was at a, when you set the ultimate yogurt maker to 100, it's 100, but inside of the uh, yogurt is 90, it was 105. So I calibrated by lowering it to 97. Okay, so cover them up and put them in. I preheated the water. So we're good to go. And uh, I just have to recalibrate the time. The is after um, more than, it's after more than 24 hours because I have 11 hours left. So it's now about 10 o'clock at night. It'll be ready tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Um, and I'm curious because I'm using the packet of live culture rather than using backslopping or the 
frozen ice cubes. So as you can see right now, this looks different. I have a lot of water on the top and I'm even tempted to pour it off. And that, and you can see it's almost separated here. And it has that strong cheesy smell again. So there's, there's nothing wrong with this. It's basically over fermented. It happens. It happened to me the first time I did this, even though I, um, I heated the milk to 185 this time around, I, I, um, I cleaned everything really well also. So it's just, I mean, when you add that live culture the first time it, it reacts really strongly. But this, I'm gonna let I'm I, I'm gonna let it finish. Last night I showed you um, at the 11 hour left uh, mark that it had separated because I used my uh, packet of powder of the uh, LR007 um, cutting edge cultures, um, and and it's uh, something that happens. Um, what happened to me before? This is the second second packet I've used. The first packet I used did this separated, and this, this is it. It's so interesting when I open it. The, the, the tops always are open a little bit because of the uh, the, the carbon uh, the carbon um, the carbon dioxide that is released from the fermentation process. So the the thing is, last night, like I said. Odor wise, it just smells like a kind of a like a like a brie cheese. Um, and I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have had this experience where it's separated from the, the, um, bring it up to the light here, the, uh, whey and the curds. It's kind of, I guess some people would say you can mix it again and, but I know that the flavor from what I, I tasted last night was a little bit kind of sour or bitter. Mmm. And I tried some last night. I, I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with it. It's just sort of like concentrated uh, flavor. It's not as as delicate as it should be. Now, incidentally, I have my um, kefir because I make I make kefir also, and you can see that the kefir has that tendency also. But this this is perfectly normal. Um, you just mi I mix this up. I'll strain off the gr the grains and then. Put it, uh, put it in the refrigerator, and actually, as it continues over the next two, three days, this, this, this stays kind of homogenous. It doesn't, uh, doesn't keep say separated. So that's the, that's the way, and then that's the kefir, um, uh, the curd, which ha hasn't separated. So my technique is I'll just basically take this, and I'll put it into my um, ice cube trays. I have two ice cube trays, so it'll work. And if I have any extra, I'll just put it in another little container and wrap it tightly with, with plastic wrap. And then what I end up getting is these, these are obviously these ice cubes of El Ruderai culture, which in the end, if I have any more from my last batch, yeah, here it is. This is the Yeah, so that's my, my yogurt, my usual yogurt made from the ice cubes. Mm, amazing taste. Um, so just to say that it's separation is a, not a sign of failure. Um, and I'm going to do another batch tonight when I come home from work. So I'm going to save this um, and I'm going to start another batch real quick. And I'll give you the, the difference in look between this one and the one that I'm going to have finished in 36 hours. So I'm back uh, to do the follow-up on the uh, separated um, culture that I'm going to remix into remix to make my second batch. Sometimes called second generation worked. Uh, first generation, I even actually emailed um, uh, Cutting Edge Cultures, and they got right back to me, and they said, "Yeah." They recommended maybe I use a little less potato starch, but the whole separation thing is quite common. And one thing, um, they sent me a link to one of their articles, their blogs, saying that your first batch, if you go with half and half, the heavier cream, 
is 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 more stable. I'm using whole milk, so that's in, in both occasions it's separated. So um, I'm gonna put half. This is basically like a one tablespoon, two tablespoons. That was one. That's two. Um, and we have a quart of milk going into these two dishes. And this time I'm just gonna strain it because when I heat the milk, it does create um, some particles and the, there's a film that gets to the top and sometimes it makes it kind of grainy. Uh, and I added to the milk as usual, um, one and a half tablespoons of potato starch. I mixed it in when it was warm. And this time around, I'm also just uh, you see when when you do it with the with the milk over the uh, hot water bath it the milk that's why you don't want to scrape the bottom with your whisk um, it coagulates so I'm just gonna mix in the culture I guess you would call this uh, back slopping well yeah using some of your old culture to to, to cultures and the new the new batch and this time because my covers popped um, I'm going to try the plastic film. So method. that's the, just a sort of, just a plastic film meth method with an elastic band around it. And I'm doing this just to prevent the water from being able to come through because with the, the covers last time, when you put them on, they, they over, they, when it's fermenting, it pops off and I'm, I'm feeling there's a water and humidity that gets in and then you have this film of water on the top. So hopefully that will, this will prevent it. So once again, the water is preheated. Um, it's not coming up to where I want it to. So I'm gonna add a little bit more lukewarm water. And away we go. Good. Hi, so I'm going to show you the end result of the second generation. Here it is after 36 hours. I did check up on it after about when it's halfway through and I was pleased to see that I, it, it passed the jiggle test. So you don't really need to take off the cover to see if it's separated or not. And like I had assumed, I was like 90% sure because the first time when I did it, it also did the same reaction. You get separation and then on the second batch with whole milk, mind you, you get, um, I'm really pleased with the texture and also with the, using saran wrap rather than the plastic covers. Great idea. You don't have that water on the surface. Now let's give it a smell test. Good. And the taste test. Mmm. That's the Ruderai yogurt. Okay. So there you go. Now, you know, not necessarily. I mean, if, 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 if it was separating again and I tried it a third time, we might have a, a contamination, it, but I mean, if, if everything is clean and so on, you should be okay. Um, what I'm trying to say is that don't let the first separation batch, um, uh, you know, make you think that you have to throw, throw it out. So keep on trying, keep on help, being healthy. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment. Bye.